Hi my loves, welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. Baby, I'm here with a dream. In this dream, I am in Miami, okay? I had the knowing that I was in Miami. Although the city looked very different from the last time I had been there, I knew that that's where I was. I decided that I was about to enjoy my little time, okay? And I started wandering around um, the city. Um, I ended up going to this one place, which on the outside, it looked like it was like a little cool little hangout. I was like, okay, let me see what they got going on in here. But I also had the knowing that I was looking for food and for something to drink. I go in. And the first thing, when I first walk in, I see a bunch of washing machines. And I'm like, okay, this is a laundromat. Maybe, maybe I got it wrong about this place. Baby, I keep going in further. And then I see, okay, it is a restaurant, okay? And I see a few people sitting down eating and drinking, and they are all looking at me strange, like, what is she doing in here? And as I keep going... I see a little business office in the back. And, um, yeah, once again, I, while I'm wandering around this little place, everybody that's there is just looking at me like I'm not supposed to be there. And you know what I'm saying? And, and this is something that I have realized in my 33 years, that there are really people that they, they don't exactly open up shop because they are in the business of finding new customers and things like that. There are some people that will open up shop of a restaurant or a business, uh, like a club or a little bar or whatever, just for uh, fun, just, just because they can, just so that their friends can come and hang out. And typically in places like this, when you walk in, as somebody that is not a usual, obviously, it's going to stick out because they know everybody that comes. So, they're going to be like, who are you and what do you want? <sighs> okay. Anywho. The scripture comes from Jubilees 13 and 1. And Abraham journeyed from Haran, and he took his wife Sarai and Lot his brother and Haran's son to the land of Canaan. And he came into Ashur. And proceeded to Shechem and dwelt near a lofty oak. And he saw, and behold, the land was very pleasant from the entering of Hamath to the lofty oak. And the Lord said to him, To you and to your seed, I will give this land. So here's the message. Okay, for somebody, God is going to relocate you. Okay, and it's not going to be a place to a familiar place that is going to be not so familiar. Okay, so it's going to be somewhere that you have been before. And regardless if you've been there in um, just on vacation or if you've just been there a few times here and there, you know, it, it may be somewhere that you have frequented, but you're not very familiar with the people or the place very well. It is going to be like, New, while simultaneously, is going to be old. And it's kind of like, and that's just the vibe that I got while I was there. It was new because I didn't know the people. And it was, uh, you know, a new place. And I was basically going about and just going around and getting acquainted with the area. Everything looked different to me. However, it was old because I knew I had been there before. And ironically, like the fragrance that I got going today is take me, meet me in Miami or something like that. I think it's something like that, baby. And it's like, as I'm like getting to this part of the message, I'm starting to smell like the, the fragrance smells so good. But anywho, <laughs> anywho, I just feel like for whoever this is for, God is saying like, it's going to be a situation where like this place is going to be a vibe. Now, you know, you got to be careful. You got to you gotta take it easy. Don't just, you know, dive right in and understand that God is with you. But, you know, that, that is also a cause of um, concern. And God says concern because when God is with you and people got some kind of shysty type of 
situations going on and they doing stuff that is not exactly of God, they will always be very offensive towards you. They will uh, automatically want to be mean to you. They will automatically want to... I, how do I say it? Because I, I just feel like from I'm going off of my experience and, uh, you know... I have noticed that a lot of people, they get offended and they want to try to cover it up and they want to act like they ain't doing nothing and act like I ain't see that and act like I ain't, I don't know this, that, and the third. And you know what I'm saying? And I'm the kind of person, God is with me. God talks to me. He walks with me. He talks to me all day, every day. It ain't nothing that nobody can really hide from me to where, you know what I'm saying? They they got something going on, and they trying to act like they don't. And, you know, I play the game with you. You know what I'm saying? If we want to play the game, let's play the game. I pretend like I, I ain't see that, and I don't know. Okay? We can do that. But, you know what I'm saying? When it really comes down to it, I'm not slow. Okay? <laughs> I'm not slow. I saw it. I see I see things. And then on top of that, God shows me things that I didn't see and things that I shouldn't know and things that I, you know what I'm saying? I shouldn't have heard. God allows me to hear conversations that I shouldn't even know about. But that's just what it is. That's how me and God is connected. And when it come down to it, sometimes when you got this kind of vibe going on, it makes people uncomfortable because they like to keep conversations that they have behind closed doors, behind closed doors. And if you the kind of person well, even though it was had behind closed door, you still know what's going on. It, it, it bothers them. It frustrates them. When you the kind of person where you know what secrets they they keeping secrets, they hiding secrets, they, they don't want nobody to know about this, that, and the third. But you know, it bothers them. It frustrates them. They trying to figure out how you know, and they you know what I'm saying it will cause people to start looking at you. Like, you the one that's doing something wrong when in reality, it's just you uncover what they was doing. And now they mad and they bothered and they got to take you down and they got to figure out how to do this. They got to put a stop to you because how did you know that? And uh-uh, you sneaky. And uh-uh, you shouldn't this and you shouldn't that. And the crazy thing to me, people like this, it see, it, 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 it's one thing. When, you know what I'm saying, when people like this, when it's a situation where they haven't did nothing to you, and you know what I'm saying, you just messing with them. But it's a whole different case. When they messing with you, they started it. They started bothering with you. They started causing problems for you. They started all this up. And instead of them being like, you know what, maybe I should leave such and such alone. They, they don't, they, that doesn't cross their mind. They insist on harassing you. They insist on messing with you. They insist on making things hard for you, harder for you. At least they try to. At least they try to. But you know what I'm saying? When it really comes down to it, the way God works, the way my God works, the way my Heavenly Father works, even when they try to make situations harder for you, it ends up being easier than expected. And God said, for somebody, you know, understand that He is with you. Take caution. Proceed with caution. you going to be able, it'll be the kind of situation just like even looking at that building. I like, I, I just feel like it wasn't no signs. It wasn't a situation where normal people would just walk in there. And I was like, I'm new. I'm trying to see what's going on. Let me go and see what's going on. And you know what I'm saying? This is for whoever. You have to understand because God is with you, sometimes you'll end up places that you usually wouldn't end up. You'll end up places that people in your position usually wouldn't even go. And I'm saying in your position, somebody that's new. To the regardless if it's to the neighborhood, to the city, to the state, to the country, you gonna end up doing things that people in your position don't get to do. You're experiencing things people y'all in your position don't experience. You will end up meeting people that other people usually wouldn't even meet. You know what I'm saying? Even when it comes down to the relationships that you gonna have, like I'm thinking about in how in some movies the main character they end up meeting just the big person here, the big person that somehow they here and somehow they there they end up dating this person and now they here it's just i just feel like for whoever this is for it's gonna be like this and you're gonna be like you're gonna be in places where it don't even make sense how you got to that place 
you going to be in positions where it don't even make sense how you got that position. You going to have, uh, you know, your relationship, your person, your kingdom partner is going to be somebody, first of all, you would never expect. Somebody that you would like, this is somebody that may be the complete opposite of you. And then on top of that, it will be somebody that you'll be like, how in the world did I get them? And while they thinking, how did I get you? Like, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be wondering how they got you. And you're going to be wondering how they got. It, it is just, it is God. But God said he with you. And because he with you, you end up maneuvering situations. And, and it, like, it just happened for you. Sometimes it don't even make sense. But it's going to make sense. But it don't make sense. But it's going to make sense. And God said, wherever this place is going to be, you're going to settle here. It's going to be yours. Somebody, you going to step up, like, you're going to fall into where you're going to end up living at. It's not even going to make sense. Where you're going to end up building your house. Where you're going to end up moving in. Where you're going to end up having a family and raising your kids and all that. It's not even going to make sense. There is going to be no logic in it. But God is there. And that's really what matters. And that's the message. 1111, as I said, that's really what matters. And that's the message, y'all. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.